Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be setting up the Arlo integration into Home Assistant. Once completed, you'll be able to see all your cameras inside of Home Assistant and to be able to trigger automations based on the camera attributes. Now the Arlo integration was a supported integration that was deprecated a few years back. However, it was brought back to life through the Home Assistant Community Store and developer Steve Harrell hope I got the name right, Steve, um, in the guise of the Arlo with an AA Arlo. The link described in the GitHub page is in the description below. Now, there are a few videos on YouTube of how to configure this integration, but I've made this since there was a few idiosyncrasies that caused me some issues and many hours worth of debugging to try and find out why it wasn't working properly. Turned out it was just a single line of code that I needed to add into the configuration.yaml file. To be able to install the Arla with a double A integration, you need to be able to edit your configuration.yaml. It's not hard, but we'll walk you through the process anyway. So to be able to get this integration up and running, there's a few things you need, few requirements. If you need a file editor of some type, you need the Arlo camera system, obviously, and you need to have set that up so you can see your cameras. Two-factor authentication was brought in with Arlo a few years back now, and is a mandatory, well, it is in my country anyway. I'm not sure if it is all around the world. However, we'll run through that one, and that was one of the sticking points. You're gonna need a separate Gmail account to be able to set up the integration so that the two do not fight between you logging in and Home Assistant logging in. So you'll need to set up that Gmail account. Once you've got that Gmail account, we're gonna to have to set up an app specific password for it, specifically to Arlo. Again, we'll take you through that. It's not that hard. You need to have hacks installed. I'll put a link in the video above of how to install hacks on a video I've done previously. We're gonna to have to install the Arlo Glance custom card. Sounds complicated. Again, it's a few minutes, it's very simple. And we'll obviously have to have an internet connection. So let's get our hands dirty. So that we don't have your main user ID in your Arlo fighting for access with the one that's from Home Assistant, you need to be able to go and create a Gmail account that you're going to use specifically for Home Assistant to access into Arlo. If you haven't done that, go off and do that now and come back to the video. So assuming that you've done that now, we now need to create an app specific password. So there's gonna be a link in the descriptions to this page from Google. It takes you through a eight steps of how to create an app specific password. This is the password that we're gonna use in conjunction with the user ID, the Gmail account. This is the one that will allow the Arlo integration to access the Arlo API to be able to get your camera information. Follow through this information here and make a copy of your two-factor authentication code, the password, because you won't be able to retrieve it. Next. We're gonna use that email that you've just created and we're gonna go into the Arlo app on your phone or the desktop. And you're gonna follow the instructions that are on this page, links in the description and in the pop-up. Follow through this and make sure that you can share your cameras that you want Home Assistant to access with that email address. Follow through these eight steps and then come back to the video. We should now have a Gmail account that is set up with an app specific password that we'd shared our cameras through the Arlo app or the my.arlo.com uh, website that we can utilize inside a Home Assistant. So now we're gonna move across into Home Assistant and finish the configuration in there. Let's move across into hacks. We're gonna add an integration. We're gonna move down to explore and download repositories and we're gonna search for Arlo. We're gonna select Arlo and we're gonna download. Now that Arlo has been downloaded, if we go back, you'll see it's pending a restart. Go into settings, go into system and restart your machine. Since we've done all that preparation work already, this is the simple part. We're gonna move across into Studio Code Server if you haven't installed Studio Code Server, for the link in the pop-up above, 
go and watch the video I put out to how to install Studio Code Server and come back. Assuming that you've got Code Server installed, let's move across into that. As you can see, this is a new installation, so it's got very minimal in it. The configuration.yaml is virtually as it came out of the box. We're going to enter in the following code. It's going to be in the description below. You can literally copy and paste. Just make sure that your indentations are correct. Now you've copied the code into your configuration.yaml. Let me just walk through the basics that you need to configure. The important ones here to note are the TFA username and the username. For the purposes of this, these are exactly the same. The TFA username and the username will be the Gmail account that we set up previously. They will be the same account. The passwords that we're going to be using though are different. The Arlo password will be the standard password that you typed in to access into your Gmail. The app specific password will be the password that you copied down when you created the app specific password in Gmail. I'm using the secrets.yaml file here. If you don't understand what the secrets.yaml file is, I'll put a link in the description below to this page. It describes all about the secrets.yaml file and how to utilize it. Everything else in the code can remain exactly the same. If you want to know more about the actual specific code, there's an installation guide, an introduction, configuration, etc. that's on a readme, which is on Steve's GitHub page. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, because we've done our prep work beforehand and we've copied in the secrets and the passwords and the appropriate code, we're nearly done. Now you can try this if you require to see if it actually restarts and allows you the entities. This is the third point I had to find out. When I was restarting this, it came back with an error in relation to MQTT. I already had an MQTT broker in place, so I didn't understand why it was complaining about it. I needed to put this extra line in. So what is SSE? SSE stands for Server Side Events. It's the old legacy way that Arlo was using to do their brokering of their messaging. They are moving across to MQTT. However, this wasn't working for me. So you can try leaving this out and see if it works for you. If not, put in backend.sse into your Arlo configuration and see if that works. We now need to restart Home Assistant. Let's go and have a look to see if they're available. Remember, this is a fresh install of Home Assistant. So the dashboard is still controlled by Home Assistant. However, as you can see, cameras are now showing up and we can now see that four cameras are connected and online and available. Now, although we can see the cameras, they're not very functional at this point in time. And that's where we use the Home Assistant Arlo Glance card. Let's get into adding that one. So to install the Has Arlo Glance card, we need to go to hacks again. This time we're going to go to front end. We're going to search for explore download repositories. We're going to untick the themes because it's not a theme. And we're going to type in Arlo, select it. Press the download button. As usual, we'll need to reload our browser. If we now move back, we should be able to see the card has been installed. To utilize this card, Let's go and set up a new dashboard. Go across into settings, go into dashboards, add a dashboard. Give it a title. Press create. We can now open that specific dashboard. We'll need to take control and empty this one out. Edit the dashboard. Start with an empty dashboard. Take control. Now the Arlo Glance card doesn't have a UI element. However, we'll need to add a manual card and put our YAML code in. Press add card. Search for manual. Select manual. As you can see, there is no preview for this. However, if you copy the text as on screen and will be in the description below. So as you can see, it has now pre-populated the view with the camera output. We should change the entity if we want to switch to one of the other cameras. If you take it back to Arlo, put the underscore in, it'll give you a list of all cameras that are available. Select the one you require. Change the name accordingly. Nothing else really needs to change. If we save now, we should now see our glance card shown with the attribute shown at the bottom. We can now replicate this for all of our cameras.
So now you have the integration with Arlo into Home Assistant to be able to view your cameras and to be able to show the last nine recordings on your dashboards. The integration works very well. Now it's got some latency, but the purpose of viewing footage or and viewing your cameras, it's acceptable. There are a lot of additional entities that are now available to you to utilize in your automations. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was informative and helped you get your Arlo security cameras viewable within Home Assistant. Let me know in the comments below how you went, or if you've got any questions, put them in there and the community can help you. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and ding that bell so you get notified of new content as it becomes available. See you on the next one.